Beasley is secretly planning to drop his debut single, 80 Stings, on 1-9-2018. Cole tweets the song at 11-11 a.m. is immediately retweeted by Des Bryant, Dak Prescott, Terrence Williams, Ezekiel Elliott, Jeremy Mincy, J.J. Wilcox, and Morris Claiborne. After only 15 minutes, Van Latham and Michael J. Babcock with TMZ contacts Victor Faz Clark to set up an interview with Cole Beasley. You know, the biggest thing is, you know, kind of getting past the athlete, trying to rap thing. And, you know, it's kind of a, a stigma that's going around, but I honestly think I'm doing it differently than most of them. You know, this is well thought out. When you guys released the first single and everyone was shocked, like Cole Beasley rap, and I, I don't know, being a, a football, white football player, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure that had a lot to do with it, but people right. just seem shocked. Within 24 hours, AD Sting reaches number 12 on the iTunes Top 100 Hip Hop Charts. Then an immediate and viral buzz takes the internet by storm. Cole Beasley is not only preparing for his seventh season with the Cowboys, he's about to release his first rap album in the next two months. Helping Beasley conquer his music mission is producer Victor Faz Clark. 80 Steams created instant buzz. The song moved 100,000 units in one day, rose to number 12 on the iTunes hip hop chart. Victor Faz <laughs> Clark has been in the music business. Surviving that long requires more than just knowing good music. There's a business sense needed. The Dallas Cowboys remain the most popular sports franchise in the world, so working with Cole Beasley is sweet music to Faz's ears. Faz named the track 80 Stings. It was a freestyle, so it really never had a name to it. Some just kind of got in me and said, you know what, no, I just let me just count the bars, and it was 80 bars. And so he goes by B. And so it just kind of morphed into that. 80 Stings is part of the duo's new record label, Cold Nation. Really interesting backstory uh, there. And, and I didn't realize that it had climbed up the charts the way it did D just quickly. That's what it means to have a Dallas Cowboy uh, being a part of it. I mean, it's amazing the, the reach the team has. Sports and media outlets alike began contacting us regarding Cole's newly released single. Billboard, the Dallas Observer, Sports Illustrated, USA Today, NFL Films, two-page spread in the July issue of D Magazine, Fox Sports, Fox News, CBS, ESPN, The Ben and Skin Radio Show, Coach K, manager of the Migos. This is what he had to say. I gotta ask you, man, um, you know, you know music. You work yeah. with some of the biggest artists in the yeah. world right now. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Cole Beasley? You see the NFL yeah. slot receiver saw, uh, dropping the bars? Big ups to him. I mean, so, some athletes, they athletes, but I mean, music they, might be their passion. They might, they might have two passions. Well, look at Quavo, you know? Hey, he, he almost the went the other exactly. route, you know? Exactly, exactly. Got flow. Should you keep playing on Sundays for the time being, or what? You, oh yeah, he he should definitely go get that money on Sunday, but get in the studio too, man. Be creative. Nothing wrong with that. Cole Beasley put a whole lot of effort and work into the lyrics and the composition and the production of this album. It, it's high class as far as that goes. Whether you like it. Like my head gone. They said I'm crazy, but I told them all that it's no biggie, but you're dead wrong. And the oh! This is some heat. Bro, this is some heat. Cause I feel like, I feel like my house gonna burn down after this song. You feel me? Draw strings, overheads get moss reach. For the stars, I was taught dream, never stop, eat, wreak havoc. Oh shit! <laughs> this got some heat, bro. Are y'all sure this is Cole Beasley? Stand up, hit that like button for this dude, man, for real. Shout out to Cold Nation, man. They putting on moves, man. Dallas Cowboys social media department noticed the rise in popularity of the track 80 Stings. They reached out to Cold Nation Records to offer doing a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader routine to the song. Own it, seize it like I see. Cole Beasley received radio support from hot morning show host Vida Loca and her team DJ Chaotic, J. Crew, and Jazzy Black on Radio 1's 97.9 The Beat.
bring Can't yeah. snatch a necklace up off me Cause I don't have yes, one Yes, Beasley, yeah. come on Who up that sauce with me to look in the morning? Rising hip-hop artist Beasley was invited by celebrity radio personality Hollywood Bebe with K104 hey, FM. Hey, how we gonna do it? Yeah. It's 2018, Cole Beasley. <laughs> <laughs> Autobiography, Cole Beasley. Yeah. Let's go, Beasley. Let's go. For heads, I'm Mike Tyson with the mic biting. Strike Titans with his God flow like Poseidon. Woo! This is how I like it. I'm telling myself, remind them as if they hurt my old. This slick spit it is fine. Through strategic negotiations, Faz closed a deal with the Dallas Cowboys marketing department to distribute promotional material for the album The Autobiography in all Dallas Cowboys pro shops. Once all songs were edited and mixed, they were mastered at Sterling Sound in New York City, the same studio that mastered records for Bruno Mars and Cardi B. Once for Texas. Happy to be joined by Cowboys wide receiver Cole Beasley. Cole, your album debut, it, it happens this coming Saturday. If we can, I want to bring in your uh, producer as well, Victor uh, Fast Clark. I, I want to talk about this uh, collaboration that we hear that has taken place with Run DMC. The legendary Run DMC, Cole, you've collaborated with him, Cole and Victor. And I was just excited to, to experience him in the studio and just watch him work um, and just seeing the process of how he makes music. Uh, I'm really excited about it. We're having an album release party at Lava Cantina Saturday. Um, it's going to be really fun. Everybody uh, in the public is invited to come out, so I'm excited. Dallas Cowboys professional and personal friends showed up in support of Cole Beasley and Faz Clark at the album release party. During the electrifying evening of the album release party, the autobiography went to number eight by the end of the night. By 10 a.m. that morning, it reached number seven on the iTunes Top 100 Hip Hop Charts. A week transpired and we were now number 25, Billboard Rap Album Sales. Number 35, Top R&B Hip Hop Album Sales. Number 44, Independent Album. Number 11, Heat Seekers. Number 4, Heat Seekers South Central. Faz's artist Dastani, who recently appeared on the Fox TV show The Four in front of DJ Khaled, Puff Daddy, and Megan Trainer, was the only featured artist on the album The Autobiography. As the year comes to a close, December 6, 2018, Cole and Faz teamed up with innovative technology giant Microsoft to promote their state-of-the-art computer, the Microsoft Studio Surface 2 and tablet. The campaign is called Make Believe Happen. The song created for the project is titled Every Breath is a Gift. Started as a baller, straight up killing the game. The commercial can be viewed on Microsoft's official website and their social media. The song Every Breath is a Gift is available on Spotify and all digital platforms. Beasley vows that he can claim the ultimate prize in both. Nobody can do or be a professional athlete and music. So ever since they told me that, now that's my goal. I want to be, <laughs> this, this takes a lot of work. I mean, I didn't really want to say it to nobody, but I want to be the first person to, to win a Super Bowl and a Grammy. 